This year, I have discovered the Thistles and Biscuits Country Unit Studies, and we are loving them. We have included these in our world geography studies that we are doing. We are using my father's world as a basis for this, but then I am going out to other countries that my father's world does not include, and Thistles and Biscuits has some amazing unit studies. So far, we have completed the Dominican Republic, England, Scotland, Ireland, and next week we will be starting on the Nordic region. I'm also planning on continuing to utilize Thistles and Biscuits country unit studies, and I have already purchased and printed out Madagascar, and Thailand. So I'm really excited to use these. One of the reasons that I like the Thistles and Biscuits unit studies are is because they are not all the same. Now they do have some of the same components throughout the unit studies so that you can know what you're doing and you can really get used to and into the groove of working with these studies, but then they are all just a little bit different. They all have something that is unique to that country. I wanna to take today to flip through a couple of these unit studies and then talk about how I have seen some of the differences from the different countries and how it's made these studies so much more fun and really come alive. I picked the Madagascar country study to do a flip through. So this will not show you what is in every study because like I mentioned, everyone is different based on the individual country, but it can give you an idea of how these country studies are set up. So it starts with an overview and this is generally the overview for the entire study. This one does not have it broken down by days. Some of them do, some of them don't. Also, this one does not have a cartoon that they utilize in some of the studies to give an overview of that country. I will make sure that I do find one of the cartoons and show you what it is, but they have these flashcards. So every study that I've seen does have flashcards based on what is important that you are getting ready to learn about the study. And then there is a map of the area. Also, we have recipes. All of the unit studies that we have done have recipes and it's so much fun to make these. We really enjoy them. This one does have information on the trees that are part of Madagascar's light landscape. And so each study will show something that is specific to that country. We also have precepts, which I love. This one is a proverb. And so what they do is they give copy work pages as well as the precept set up on a page like this. We normally display this in our area. We talk about what we think this means at the beginning of the country study, and then we leave it up throughout the country study and we talk about what it means at the end. Have we learned something that will help us truly understand why this is considered a precept for that area? And so I'm, I really like these as well. Sometimes we use them as mentor sentences to learn about um, the different parts of speech, diagramming, etc. but we just use these however it really flows with what we're doing in some of our other subjects at that time. We have a map which is very standard and you can see that you're going to do something on your own based on the map and the area of the country. Next, this one is about a flower because Madagascar is really known for being a botanical area. And so we have a lot of information about the flower and then also the animals within the area. This is the flag, which you will color the flag. And this asks, do you remember how the colors are chosen? So this must be something that we have, would have learned earlier in the study. And also we have a few coloring sheets based on what is known. And then at the end, you will have a book list. This one does note a couple of things for the parents. And so this is something that you want to look at when you are preparing for the study. Quickly, let's look at Thailand because this will show you where they use something different. So again, you'll have the flashcards. You also will have the recipes the precepts, and then you will get into infor more information about the country. So here's the flag. This talks about waterway markets, so something that is very specific to that country. Hospitality 
etc. So you can see that based on what the country is known for, you're going to have different activities, different materials, and different resources to really be able to delve into based on the country. You can see that for some of them, they do have um, a playlist that you can just scan, which is very convenient. And then obviously there is the book list as well. These country studies do run about $7 and they also have sales on them. So be sure to sign up for their mailing list so that you can find out when they do have sales. With England, we talked about Shakespeare and my daughter was able to write her own sonnet. We talked about the British invasion and listened to so many different artists from Britain that were included in that first and second British invasion and had days worth of conversations. This was one of the concepts that my daughter kept coming back to with regards to England was the British invasion and how the music has impacted the United States and still is an influence in the United States. And so I think that that is great that she is able to make those connections. But her favorite part of the English unit study was Bansky. We watched a documentary on Bansky and then she was able to create her own graffiti. And this, we did this unit study a couple months ago. She is still talking about Bansky. Bansky is one of the people who she wants to meet. She, it's one of the people that she is most intrigued by that we have been studying throughout her entire sixth grade year. And that, and so thank you so much to Thistles and Biscuits for this great England country study. We really enjoyed it. When we did Scotland, we listened to a man speak Gaelic on a YouTube video and then we tried it ourselves. We weren't really very good at, about it. We also discovered based on the recipes for Scotland that we're not super duper fans of Scottish food. Someplace we did like the food recipes from was Ireland. This one had quite a few recipes in it and we really did enjoy cooking. What we also enjoyed was the Irish dancing. This is something that we loved watching and trying to do ourselves and we're really not that great at it. I did love in Scotland they had this game where you are trying to invade the territory and capture the king. The king's trying to escape. This is a game that is still set out in our school area. It's something that my daughter's really enjoying playing continuously. And I love it because it is an opportunity to talk about how many times Ireland was invaded and about the different wars within Ireland. And so that is something that I thought was really great that they included in this Ireland country study because it's not something that we see in some of the other studies, but it is very specific to Ireland. We will continue with these Thistles and Biscuits country studies throughout next year. I am so excited for them because they provide that something different. They're all unique based on what is important within that individual country, but they all do still have some continuity. They are easy to do. They are easy to follow and you can go on many tangents with them. So thank you Thistles and Biscuits. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.